on the defense unless Joey is just bonkers on his offense. I mean, this is this is cocaine fox versus ketamine fox, right? Like, Aklos, <laughs> Aklos trying to put you in a K-hole. <laughs> That's right. I, I love how the game starts. He immediately jumps to side platform and jumps to top platform. Yep. That's what we were talking about. But once he gets that opening, Aklo can make it count. Yeah, their head-to-head -head is 2-1 to one this year with Lucky winning 3-2 at Collision and then 3-0 for Aklo in Full Bloom and 3-1 at Genesis X for mm -hmm. Aklo as well. Oh, so it's been a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, their last set was uh, Collision. Though. That was in yeah. March. Yeah, it has been a while. Seven months. A lot can happen in seven months. And they've both actually leveled up quite a bit since that time. So. Ooh, Ooh the edge cancel for a uh, forward air and a back air. Yeah, I like that recognition because normally you see like the the kind of left in style back air rising back air to cover multiple angles. A left and a deadlock player. <laughs> 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 but using the forward air there to push off on uh, the shield into another hitbox was gorgeous. And this should be just to roll it on up. That's also what I noticed in the previous sets that Lucky's been playing. Very clean on the edge guarding. No oh. hesitation, jumping out there with the shine every single time if there's an opportunity to do so. I mean, he's been in these spots so many times before. Like you said, he's had such a lengthy history with the SoCal Foxes that he knows exactly how to hit those edge guards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think what we're seeing is zero hesitation, Lucky. Honestly. And also really good on punishing the defenses of all these spaces that he's up against. Yeah. Waiting for the spot dodge at that particular moment. You know, like wave dashing back, waiting for like a roll, waiting for a spot dodge, oh, and then wow. punishing that instead. And he also was dash dancing in a range where he could react to the spot dodge, even like he's prepared for like the soft read on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw oh. S-Pop try to punish that breakaway uh, with the uh, illusion to top platform. And I feel like if, if Lucky can get a good handle on that, it's going to be harder for Aklo to go ahead and get back in the center, too. I'm really oh, oh. oh, the worst back throw setup there could have been. <laughs> back throw into Banish to Parkour Prism. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Lucky's chance here, though. The Lucky's making the jump for the one block oh. of the beef. But <laughs> we're going hungry. We're going hungry. <laughs> Two stocks at two. Okay. 47 is a good knockdown percent, though. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I want to see how they both play off the knockdown. Oh, whoa. Juicy oh. Opportunity. oh, wait a second, folks. <laughs> I'm telling you. The <laughs> combos. When have you ever seen that? Oh, but can't find the follow through. What was he that? He DI'd into the platform? That's, that is crazy. That's, that's, actually. that's crazy. Clean how that up. You, that was like some wizard of DI. Yeah, it's <laughs> real. <laughs> Like, everybody's hitting, like, the eye on uh, Falco down air to platform where they're like, we, gotta, we must break this combo, but hitting that on Nair is such a low percent. Oh, mm -hmm. but beautiful edge guard on Aklos part to even up the game. Only 1% yeah. separates them right now. Hey, they weren't wrong in 2007. You know, sometimes those back airs still play out real nice. <laughs> they do. Oh, misses the dash out of Crouch, but... Oh, that's big. On platform. Oh! oh. Great SD, but he's still going. Yeah. Oh, Shine out of Shield's gonna break it up. And now it's Lucky playing the platform game, and Aqua's ready for it. Yeah, the dash away CC, and knowing that when he gets hit, he's gonna get the turnaround and get the grab. Again, oh. I gotta call out uh, Lucky's really good SDI there, and that yeah. first back air that Aklo did actually allowed Lucky to grab Edge instead. Oh, turn oh. winner. That should be it. Yeah. And yeah. covers the ledge. Aklo on the board. Very well fought game one. That was a really back and forth. Like, they both had their moments there. Yeah. Especially that one crazy Lucky combo. Oh, yeah. I feel like uh, I was talking with GooseCon a little bit before we got here. Shouts to GooseCon, Desert. Toronto legend. Top uh, 16 of this tournament. And I was like, man, the Root is stealing some of these games. And I feel like there's always a moment where you're like, man, it's in the corner. He's going he's gonna to lose this game maybe. He's got a poor presence, and then he's just, he just yoinks it. He grabs it. It's incredible. That's the thing, I think, especially in this matchup, right? It's just the the margins are so small. If okay. you're just off by a little bit on your combo game, if you get, like, one extra hard knockdown, the game is yours. I think it's also the understanding where, especially in the Fox, you know, you're always in it. Like, it doesn't matter what the stock or percent lead is. Right. Like, you can always make a comeback because of how crazy your punish game can be. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. As long as you're confident, at least. And I think both of these players, from how they're playing, pretty confident. I mean, <laughs> Aklo's actually had a set versus Moki where there were two four stocks where Aklo four stocked Moki twice and still lost the set. At uh, Arkham Melee, right? Yeah, just to speak yeah. to the volatility of this matchup. Dude, that's messed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that was past my bedtime. French time zone had, <laughs> had me done up dirty. So you never give up in this matchup. Ooh. Oh. Insane DI on the, the jab reset from the Thunders, but like still finding follow through. Oh. He shined for invincibility. Or he tried to reverse shine him. I don't He's know which one it was. Reverse shine the drop shot. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we got Earth though. This is big for Lucky. I mean, being able to just play to pit. Not gonna kill quite yet. Oh, he's shine stalling to wait out the transformation. Smart. Oh, smart. And, and, wow. It'd be for uh for safety. 
Yeah, paratroopered out. Actually, Aqua knew how to play that transformation really well. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a fox do that. No, no me neither. No. I mean, he got the wall bang there, so he's living, but we reset here. I like the stuttering fox on the dash attack. It looks so funny. Oh, the pit. Oh, misses his attack. Oh, wow. and the reversal shine on Aqua's part to even up the stocks. I wonder how close that was because the ledge grab box had to have come out just a moment before. Mm -hmm. Yep. We hang tight. <laughs> oh, we got laser damage. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Almost really good DI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even if it's that high, high percent. Okay, who's going to get the knockdown here first? Staring into his eyes. Goodness. Ah, oh. uh, missing the turnaround, I think, before to get that uh, punish there. I oh. like that. You're a little bit too far away to get the grab. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Gets the Armada Shine. I think the name of the game here is how Lucky deals with Aqua's full hop, because sometimes he's trying to cover it with an aerial of his own, and sometimes he waits it out and throws out a down tilt or hold shield. Okay, good recognition here. Mm -hmm. Lucky's been playing the corner really well, too, I will say. Like, he'll have some slight misses, but... Oh no! You know, or big misses like or that. Big misses. Yeah, Aklo kind of scared Lucky there with those couple of differing back throws. Because you're hoping that you don't get shine, so you try to like air dodge or something else like that. What an angle! He's crazy. Yeah. That's a crazy He's angle. Crazy for that. Oh, he tried to cover. Uh, the, that's the toe. He uh, Toph made that tweet about it a while ago, where you do the shine stall in the back air, cover so many angles. Oh yeah. Okay, water transformation rising up. The de beautiful dash dance on Lucky's part. Yeah, back to even here. Just over runs the grab. grab. Ah, that's a tough. Position to be actually because of the transformation. The back air, that back was air. crazy. Ooh. Actually, yeah. the really good SDI on the back air, the first back it air, killed him. It killed him. He was still ready. Yeah. Yeah. And he got all of that off of understanding that they were going to go into dash dance mode. Because you ever see in those last stock situations where the two fox are dash dancing, one wants to make a move. Lucky's like, nah, I know you're going to do this runs of crabs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's trying a tricky spot too because the transformation made it feel like maybe we're both going to back off right now in this situation, but Lucky did just go yeah. right in. It's like, is the platform lip going to ruin this for me, or can we right. actually make something happen? Right. Okay, here we see some throw mix-ups here between back throw and up throw. Good little DI mix-up. Okay. I'm loving Aklo's, like, slight fade-back drips. He did it on the, the drill at the beginning of the stock and at the nair. Yeah, he hit the shine nair fade-back. Yeah. So juicy. Okay. That's a, that's a way to get out of a pressure sequence. Oh, great wave dash back. The shield pivot, too, to kind of mix the DI there. His, his execution is flawless. Like, that's the thing that I really think separates him from most oh. of the other foxes. I don't know. Ooh. Up air there is kind of interesting because it pops you up so high Wait. that you're still going, I guess. Yeah. Lucky might just get this edge guard. Oh, okay. Because oh. typically you see back air in those kind of situations to kind of reset the edge guard sequence. Up air like kind of pops you up and then you have to follow them on their landing instead. So it can oh. let them live a little longer. He just punted himself on stage, but he's still safe. Oh my god. Ooh. Lucky's overshoots Ooh. have been monstrous this game. I mean, I think he's realizing that Aklo's. Like you said, kind of playing the back foot, like defensive game. Yeah, that's going to be what Aklo does a lot. <laughs> Did you see the crazy SDI on the Whoa. Up smash? But he's still kicking. Oh, the short. Oh, wow. The mid shortened, too. Mm -hmm. And now it's Aklo's combo. Good angle there. Oh. Great angle and great drift. Looking like Falcon. Okay. They're both doing such a good job he, on the recoveries. He missed the side B, uh, the top platform, too. Okay. It's his bread and butter. Ooh, oh, barely not I getting the up. Shocked that missed, yeah. It's crazy to see Joey do like one pattern of uh, full hop, like little short hop after uh, and dash back, and then immediately act like Ken's to it. Well, he called it out. Yeah, he finally got the, uh, the drill there. Okay. Oh. Ooh. What movement, though? Those wave lands off the platform. Oh my god. Somehow it doesn't get grabbed in that situation. Okay. Huge. He stocks it too. They're really going back and forth. My goodness. Again, trying to get, almost got the roll read there from Aklo's end. Ooh. I'm like the wave dash back up till on Aklo's part, stuffing out uh, any dash forward. Like it was a good dash check. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of been, a, it's a really good response too to all the overshoots. Whether it's overshoot grab or overshoot uh, like Nair, being able to just check that is enormous. And even if it misses, he was on a character length where it was relatively safe. Yeah. He's really trying to kill those out now because as soon as Lucky gets center again and Aklo's in the corner, it's a fairly good bet to try to cover that top platform, but if you but show your hand too early, you're just going to be giving a lot away for free. Exactly. You do have to commit really hard to covering it, oh. right? You have to like do like, oh, wait a minute. That single hit fair and grab was gorgeous. So I'm really liking in Lucky's combo game a lot of the, the, the fair usage, yeah. like what you were saying. He was doing it a couple times during the set. Okay, Axel up, though. 
I mean, game threes are always so important in the swing of things. Definitely. Oh, sick bear. Oh, that coverage nice. with the fair. Like, he covered ledge. The oh. fair covers the space with the side B, and he's able to wave dash back, uh, wave, uh, ledge dash back to stage. Yeah. It felt like Akko's actually been going to edge quite a bit, and Lucky kind of realized that maybe a mix-up was going to come out and covered the stage instead. That was really nice. Oh, all right, we hit the drill, but... I love watching how the Fox edge, uh, like, ledge meta develops, like, the pocket meta oh. during a set. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, no. uh -oh. Gets on the other okay. side? Yeah, the pivot grab there was keen. Okay, tries to sniff out a roll. Okay. Oh, I like that Lucky didn't play the platform there and just went back to center stage. I like the here. jump right over the side B as well. Keeping yourself safe. Oh, yo, oh. rough DI. You're done, skis. And Lucky up two to one. Great recognition as well to realize, like, okay, you actually DI'd this very poorly. I could just grab the edge and end the, end the stock right there. Wow. Yeah. Don't need to overcomplicate it with, like, oh. a jump off back air again. And also not overextending at all during any of, that, uh, any yeah. of those sequences. Because I feel like that's something that Aquil really takes advantage of is when you overextend and knowing, like, you've gone too far, I can counter hit you. But it, how did that shine miss? That is crazy. That was wild. It's like the game wants him to win. Yeah, that was crazy. Battlefield, New York City. Bread and butter, tried and true. It's just a good stage. Even the uh, the jacket matches up. True say. Okay. Lucky finding some really incredible grabs. Uh oh. Go oh. high, never die. I think he was trying to call it a weird angle to ledge with that up air. Oh. I've been seeing foxes do that more. The uh, the up throw drill to platform. I think you get like edge cancel off of it, so you can Lucky. potentially combo off of it. I I, might, I like it a lot. Look at that slide off yeah. on the from the right side all the way to the left. It's oh, shine here! Carried him across the stage and yeah, side B's gonna sneak by. Does he seal the stock out? He does. Really good timing from Aklo on that side B. Wow. Great coverage on the tournament winner, too. Oh! We get out there. We get active. That's the I've played Fox 10,000 times in the last year. I that fear not the man that has practiced 10,000 back airs. <laughs> the man who has practiced one back air 10,000 times. <laughs> That's a SoCal back air for oh, sure. sure. Oh, trying to get a little custy with some fares on shield. Okay, trying to get out of the pressure as well. Oh. I like oh. the defensive drill that Lucky did there. I mean, very, very modern Fox stuff, just like doing that kind of uh, dash dance, like pivot fade back drill. Like, fade back drill covers so much space, mm -hmm. and it leads to grab or shine. Big payoffs, but Aklo going to seal the deal on the stock. Yeah, Aklo going right to ledge here, waiting out the invincibility. Again, that great dash dance. Ooh. I really oh, like the oh. way that Lucky just runs in and grabs. Yeah. I think a lot of other Foxes might wait a beat, go to the platform, but Lucky's like, no, I know the timing that I can go to get this grab. And like, it, it feels like when he's doing it, it's not even out of like over-aggression. It's just out of awareness of what Aklo wants to do. Yeah, I think it's an awareness of like the mix-ups he's thrown in so far and the timings he's thrown up so far. Exactly. Yeah, I feel like Aklo playing the corner pretty well every time Lucky's in the center, but it's just like he doesn't make those big gambits off of that. He doesn't yeah. try oh, to pull. He read the roll, too, and kept the pressure going, but... Back with the reversal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he managed to find his ASDI down after the roll. Not sure if you get true cut. Shine in bone, you beautiful bitch. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it just lets you al allows you to get so many more conversions than you normally wouldn't. I know. You just get to sneak past something and you're like, well, it's like a bouncer letting you in when you know you shouldn't be allowed in. Like, <laughs> it's like, all right, man. I don't know how I got here, but I'm not going to complain. Thrilled. <laughs> Thrilled to be here. Oh. oh. That's just a great SDI on the back air, allowing Axel Down to smash! That had to be so well timed, because mm. he caught the fast fall the ledge after yeah. that. 15% right now, all that's separating Aklo from a fourth place finish. We'll see, he gets his knockdown. He's not able to reset into the punish. Slide off is going to cover, but grab is big. Oh! oh. That's, ah. that's going to be, that's gonna be an, an Aklo on the brink of defeat! That's really unfortunate, because Lucky, I believe, wanted to DI to the platform to get the slide off off that up throw, as opposed to DIing off stage like that. Just misses the platform, and then unfortunately, you're just off stage, and then the shine just comes out. Yeah. Man. The slide off would have, like, reversed that entirely, the, yeah, the one that Lucky was going for. So like I right said, side. sometimes Aklo just says, put the money in the bag. Yeah. He's just going to take that game, and we're going game five. I don't know if we uh, see FD here. I don't know where we go, honestly. I don't, I don't know if Lucky's going to go FD. I, don't, yeah. I feel like he's not on FD Fox. Maybe we go back to Battlefield. Maybe we go to Yoshi's. Asking if uh, asking if Aklo can we can go back to the maybe the we go back to Pokemon. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking maybe a Pokemon pick. Oh, back to Battlefield. Okay.
Okay. So, something I, I noticed last game was that a lot of the time when uh, Lucky would shine Aklo, he would wave dash back and wait out what Aklo was doing. And I want to see if he keeps doing that. Yo, beautiful Nair, sh uh, Nair shine, fade back Nair edge cancel there. Just perfectly safe. Ooh. Great distance that Lucky kept amidst the, the tech chase sequence there. I also like the uh, the forward to try to cover and he jumped to ledge. And oh, wait, he's, he's cooking. <laughs> he's still going. Hold the phone. He's still going. Finding that jab reset is... Insane. Oh! God damn, dude. This is combo video, Joey, right now. What so is what, happening? What if I just play like when I yell on stream? <laughs> what, if, what if I just play when I'm having a good time? So Joey in the mornings. Okay. Aqua loves that. I feel like he'll hit that 100 times out of 100. Oh, yeah. The, the, the up throw, wait for you, up smash. Even if you get the tech yeah. one way or the other, so ready for it. I love that little weight between, like that yeah, little yeah. weight right there. Just the beat. And now Aqua keeping him in the corner so well, calling out all these rolls in. And then he realizes, because Lucky tried to roll in twice, so he's going to shore up in the third time. Oh, Whoa! The Stein turned around. Got a race, back though. There. Still going. The Great. shorten. The shorten was everything. But, yeah. Okay. And now Aqua's using his perfect angles to go to ledge. They didn't have those angles in 2020. No, <laughs> no, no. Oh, stuck in shine, but oh, Aqua's stuck in shield. Ooh, okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> counter hit Nair? The Get in there. The counter hits that Joey's been doing on edge on recovery have been really nice, but Aklo still cleans it up. All right. This is a battle. Yeah, this is this I, is hard fought. I feel like they are wrenching socks from each other's hands and just clawing to finish out here. Oh, the big open up. Oh. Oh. That was crazy uh, SDI on the up smash. Yeah. It was a straight bond. The trajectory that Aklo gets off of his hits are crazy. Oh. I'm lucky you know that uh, Lucky's doing shine into jump to platform, so whatever Aklo decides to do, he's still safe. What is God. this pressure? Oh. Mango X Alex X Lucky with <laughs> Esports 3? What? In the making? Oh, what, what, what is he trying year, for? What year do you think this is, Lucky? He almost tried to intercept the, <laughs> the illusion with the shine. Okay. Holding center. Oh, oh, that's, oh big. that's big. That's huge. Working the ice cream shop. Oh He's still cooking. Oh. Wait a second. Soft hit reverse snare. Finds the knockdown too. Okay. Goes right into back air. Doesn't even allow Lucky to land on the platform. That's super nice. We got one mix here. Okay. Yeah, that was such a ridiculous sequence from Aklo to take the game back. And the crowd is yelling for Lucky. There's a fan favorite here. Oh, love the drill oh grab. Oh my god. Goes right into Dare. Oh, he got caught. He had the idea. Oh, with the push off. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful push off. Last stock. Game five. It could only be this way. Will Lucky Cinderella run continue? Or will Aqua oh. take it home? The Big crowd is chance. boring Lucky. The Lucky oh. chants are coming alive. Okay. Knockdown. Jab reset. Doesn't get the buffered roll in, though. Oh, that's, oh, that's the knockdown oh, he was looking for. Got fishing it for up air. Gets the power shield, but no punish on it. Oh, oh my god. Oh. You see how quick that up air yeah. was off the edge cancel? Oh, great Ghost Jordan. Turn winner. Oh. It could be just that. And that will do it. Aklo oh. with a crazy last stock to take it three to two. Damn, dude. What a set. What a crazy set. An amazing showing from Joey, though. Yeah. Oh, amazing absolutely. showing from Joey. I mean, just uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's, it's always tough seeing the crowd favorite barely lose, but it is a testament to Aklo's will and determination to be able to finish that out. Yeah. Like, and also, I, I think to Lucky's persistence and how he was able to keep composed throughout that entire massive loser's run multiple days, I don't think he expected to be here today. No. Sitting in top four, top this four. close. It's got to be Lucky's best tournament performance in, in like the Years. last year and a half. Yeah. Fourth is crazy. Fourth is crazy. Like, this is a so major, very stacked regional. Take from it what you will. Mm -hmm. This is an incredibly tough tournament definitely. to get fourth at. Oh, we're all lucky fans. Like I don't know anyone who dislikes, you know, yeah, a crazy. player.